Hey guys, what's up? Okay, so today we're gonna be doing some last minute but still bomb Halloween costume ideas. Basically, I just wanted to come up with some things that I thought you guys could do with either things that you already have at home or things that are really easy to find right now, being that it's obviously Halloween season, with only like a day or two's notice. With only like a day or two's notice at most. And we're gonna make sure you look good this Halloween no matter what you're doing, okay? Go ahead and keep on watching. All right, so first we're gonna start off with the icon herself, Miss What's Your Favorite Scary Movie, Casey Becker, AKA Drew Barrymore from Scream. I'm gonna take the Rare Beauty Foundation first. Do not confirm my shade match. I know, I know. There's no testing right now, meow. But I did the best I can. I thought it was gonna match. It doesn't really match, but the finish is all right. I actually kind of like it. I wouldn't use it every day though. Then I'm going in with my favorite Beauty Blender Bounce Concealer. This is the way I like to apply my concealer because I feel like it lifts the eyes, it lifts the face a bit. And yeah, I love this concealer. I'm in the shade 3.10, I believe. It's just really good, like lightweight, hydrating. This is a 90s face, so you don't want to get too crazy with the contour. I'm using the Fenty Beauty Cream Bronzer and Macchiato to contour my nose. My nose? My nose. Then going in with this blush called Coco Felicita. This is from Milani. It looks super patchy, so I had to blend it out with a sponge. This is the Makeup by Mario Master Matte Palette. I'm just using the more warm tone brown shades. They're really, really pretty mattes. I feel like this works really well for like a bridal style look, which... <laughs> It's coming up next, but I just want to do like a light brown eye. This eye pencil is also by Makeup by Mario. It's called the Perfect Brown and it comes with a little brush at the other end, so it's super easy to use. And then I'm just gonna curl my lashes because we're not doing lashes for this look. Like I said, 90s baby. No lashes for this one. We're just gonna use mascara. This is by Lancome. You guys saw this in my other video, right? You guys watched that video, right? get into that no makeup makeup look okay next i'm going to be using lip liner this is from sweet street cosmetics this is initiate angel baby it's a double sided but i'm just using the darker lip liner then putting the huda beauty game night lipstick over that it was a little darker than i wanted a little bit but i made it work then time to get dressed i literally live at the goodwill so this is where i got this sweater it is absolutely perfect i'm wearing my jeans i already had these and this is my wig so i got this off amazon but you can get a wig anywhere right now like a costume wig a party store a halloween store had to cut the bangs though because i was not feeling it i found the phone also at the goodwill just like the sweater and but you can pretty much find these sweaters anywhere like you can borrow one from your mom your dad your grandma your grandpa your boyfriend your girlfriend whoever and this is the look, really, really easy. Just perfect your scream. Next is the ex-wife, yes, that is based off the Mean Girls reference, obviously. Um, all I really had to do was take this up to another glam level. Do it how you would do your actual bridal makeup, flawless. This really took it from like a, just a simple 90s look to being full beat. So I added some more concealer and I went in with a powdered contour instead, which I feel like just adds some more dimension. And suddenly I was feeling brand new. I just had to fix my contour a little bit. Mm. I went over the cream blush with the Patrick Tosh She's That Girl blush. You guys already know it's my favorite, made it pop. And then I also went over the lipstick with the Huda Booty Huda booty, god dang, anniversary lipstick. What is wrong with me today? Going back in with that Makeup by Mario palette, I just wanted to add some depth and dimension. Obviously you want your eyes to pop. We are also adding lashes to this look because like I said, we're taking it from just a regular 90s look to making it full glam. Going in with the black pencil liner instead of the brown this time, but still these are super creamy and I love them a lot. Mm. Once again, time to change our outfit. So I got this veil and I got the corset as well at Goodwill. I'm telling you, Goodwill is your best friend. You can find anything there, especially right now with it being Halloween time. The corset was like two bucks. So I put this towel over me because trigger warning, there is gonna be fake blood and I didn't wanna get it on the corset. So it's like the best fake blood spray that I've ever tried, period. It looks so realistic. I was shocked, look at me, yes. This is by Makeup Revolution. Ooh, it sprays out intense. I did not see that coming, ooh. <laughs> I literally had to go pick up my daughters from their dad with this on my face because it did not come off It definitely stains all fake blood really stains and they were unfazed They're used to what their mom does for a living and it was all good until it started dripping down my boob crack. Yeah Then the devil look. So I actually did a devil look last year that didn't require horns. So if you wanna go look back at that one if you don't have any horns, but they are pretty easy to find right now. 
with it being Halloween, of course, I got these ones from Target. I'm using the Benefit Micro Filling Pen and also the Glossier Brow Flick. And it looks like a hot mess until I clean it up, trust me. I just wanted pointed brows for this. I did use the new Huda Beauty Stick Foundation, but I'm gonna give you my little honest review. I wasn't feeling it very much. It goes on very, very creamy and smooth like most stick foundations, but it dries out my forehead, just left kind of patches there. The whole base look for this one just turned out really blotchy. I was not feeling it at all, the whole thing. I used the Amber Cream Bronzer from Fenty, which I don't pull out very often. And the whole thing was just, it was not really it. But I did use the Beauty Blender Concealer again, which is my favorite. And just as soon as I go to fix my makeup, I mess it up once again because I go in with a bronzer that I actually really love, which is the BH Cosmetics Bronze Bay Bronzer, but as you can see, it's totally broken. So it's like pure pigment. You have to be so careful or else this will happen. Yes, doing way, way too much blotchiness everywhere. So I had to fix it. Still, it didn't end up being 100% for me. I feel like this whole base look was kind of ruined, but my nose contour looks okay, I guess. That's a little bit blotchy too, I don't know. So to add on to the hot mess that's going on, I decided to use a cream blush as well, and I'm just looking like a mess, but it's okay because this eyeshadow palette kind of saved the day. Look at this pigmentation. This is from BH Cosmetics. It is their Drop Dead Gorgeous palette. The shadow does go on a little bit pink, but once you layer it on, it gives you that beautiful red tone. Look at her. And after you blend that all out with a regular brush, you're gonna go in with a blank brush or a brush that doesn't have any product on it, of course, and that is gonna help you blend it out even better. Take it up and out. I took a little bit of black from the same shadow palette as well, and just added a little bit of dimension in the outer corner. The gems I'm using are from Joann's, the craft store, yes, you can get them from way cheaper, probably online or anywhere else, but when it's last minute, you gotta do what you gotta do. So I'm just covering the whole eye with these gems. I really didn't have a pattern for this first eye, I kind of was just winging it and filling it up. And no, this doesn't feel uncomfortable on your eye, honestly. And I have been asked before how you glue on gems, and I just use regular lash glue, it works really well, they stay on until you're ready to take them off. On this one, I did more of like a pattern, but it came out basically exactly the same. I put a few going up, a few going over, and then filled in the middle. A little bit more structured. Then I put some red liquid lipstick on my lashes because I'm not doing regular lashes, I'm doing colored lashes. These ones are from the Raggedy Royal and Lash Scoop collab. These are the Marcia lashes, which are originally orange, but I put red eyeshadow over them. And then I'm just going in with this Makeup Revolution eye pencil. No, it's not a lip pencil, it's an eye pencil, but it's all good. And I'm just adding a little smirk to the lips, like a little pointed corner. I did this recently and I was really loving it. I feel like it goes with a lot of different looks. The outfit for this one is definitely basic Halloween style, but you could wear anything red. I got this from the Goodwill, but it's originally from Spirit. It says on the tag and I'm wearing these black boots, also from the Goodwill for 12 bucks. They're my dream boots. Next, Hogwarts student or specifically Slytherin. I'm actually a Slytherin, so this works perfectly. This is actually what I'm dressing up as this year. I don't know what I'm actually doing with my daughters, but we all have costumes, so that's all that matters. I'm using the Fenty Money Palette number 10, and I just like to blend it up and out, make a little wing style. I already did this look on my Instagram if you haven't seen it already. If you have, go like it, okay? What's up? I'm going in with a slightly more limey shade, definitely snake style, and this is from the Melt Cosmetics 420 palette. And back at it again with the Money palette. So this is the same type of look that we did for the Devil look, just different colors, but similar style. I added some shimmer as well to the inner corner.
And we are going to be using lashes. So these are the Betty B Insta Hole Lashes. I do have a code HOTCAKES if you want to save some money. For lips, I'm going to go in with the Kevin Aquan Carnal Lip Liner and the Buxom Lipstick in the shade Fly Girl. I didn't know they named a lipstick after me. What's the Buxom? For the costume, you can pretty much do whatever you want. I did a white collared shirt, a green vest I got from the Goodwill, and then I got the tie from Target. I've seen these everywhere, but you can pretty much use any sharp tie you'd like as long as it matches the colors. And then I used my boots again and some thigh high socks. If you're wanting to do something a little bit more modest or it's just cold as hell where you live, you can also do plaid pants instead. And that is the look. Last but certainly not least, we have the Spider Queen look, 100% inspired by my girl Erin up in the top left corner. Go ahead and follow her on Instagram, her looks are fire. I'm going back in with the Makeup by Mario palette once again. This got a lot of love out of me this season, okay? I just blended it out, blended it up, same thing you guys. Why do I love this style of eyeshadow so much? I'm stuck on it. And yes, we're actually doing some lower lash line eyeshadow for once and some waterline eyeliner. I have not put eyeliner in my waterline. I can't even tell you how long. I'm also using the KVD tattoo liner to do the inner corner. I did a little point and I'm going to be using this as well to start creating those spider webs. So basically, you're just going to create a point. Oh, I messed up. I don't even know how I'm a makeup artist when I have such shaky hands. If you even want to call me a makeup artist, whatever but I have really shaky hands. It doesn't matter that much because we're gonna put gems over this, so I didn't bother being too precise, but basically you're just doing five lines, kind of like a little sunshine. If you could draw a little sunshine as a kid, then you can do this, trust me. And then just start doing little curves in between each line. So you can see they just attach to each other and it starts looking like a little spider web, real cute. I went over this in the end with the liner again just to make it nice, black, dark, and bold. But right here, it's just a little rough draft. Once again, overpriced craft store gems. Why do I do this to myself? Why do I buy overpriced craft store gems? Because I do everything last minute. This is what I'm talking about. I could have pulled this look out for Halloween in one day. All you have to do is go to the craft store. I'm telling you, they have everything. Basically, my little technique was to just do some bigger gems at the top and then get smaller towards the bottom. This did come with two different sizes. So all the bigger ones on the top and then all the little ones are going down the little web. I fit what I could. I only was able to fit like one in between some of them and other ones I was able to fit three. So just do what you can, but don't go too crazy because obviously you're not even gonna be able to tell what it is. I did that at first. I threw way too many gems on there and I ended up having to move them around. because I'm like, okay, it's becoming a blob. We're done, we've ruined the moment, okay? But all in all, I think it looked pretty good when I was all done. If you guys are getting bored of me putting gems on my face, I'm so sorry, but enjoy the music and kick back. Chill. Hey. <laughs> Relax. We're doing black liner again, but instead of using red in the center, I'm gonna use a nude. I'm using the Fly Girl lipstick once again. And I feel like the Spider Queen is very fashion forward. Like she's an it girl, she knows what she's doing. So I just feel like this was the look for her. And boom, the little lacy piece you see right here is from Savage X Fenty. And the blazer is from the Goodwill if you haven't seen the full outfit already on my other little haul that I did, a little thrift haul. These spiders are from, once again, Joanne's Craft Store. They're very pretty, they're very cute. I actually didn't even get them during Halloween. I've had these. I've had these on hand, ready to go. I knew this look was coming one day. I feel like this just takes it to another level. What do you think? All right, you guys, that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down below in the comments which look was your favorite, and let me know what you guys are going as for Halloween this year. I mean, I'm not really sure where we're going. 
but what are you dressing are you still dressing up what are we doing i don't know what's going on you guys i don't know but i really hope you enjoyed the video i'm definitely not ready for halloween season to end but sadly here we are do not forget to like this video subscribe hit the notification bell and i will see you guys next time bye guys